Rick Casalage from Healing the Movement. I want to welcome you to this Facebook Live. And in this Facebook Live, we're going to go through the five daily mistakes that lead to shoulder pain. Now, this Facebook Live idea came for you um, or someone else from the Healing Through Movement Facebook fan page. So if you have any other ideas of topics that you want me to cover in a future Facebook Live video, make sure to leave them down below. Now, if this is the first time watching one of these Facebook Lives and you don't know who I am, my name is Rick Casalge. I'm a kinesiologist, personal trainer, and exercise therapist, and also the creator of the highly successful and effective Unlock Your Hip Flexors program. So if you have like achy knees, a sore back, tight hips, check out this program. It's 10 exercises that take about 10 minutes that will help with those areas. It's helped thousands of people around the world and it's uh, simple and effective. Okay, now let's get to the exact topic of the Facebook Live and I'm gonna bring Emma up. And the first one we're gonna go through is don't be a slouch monster. And what I mean by that is, you know, when we're sitting and when we're standing, we kind of slouch through the shoulders, we're rounded through the shoulders. Now what that does is it puts greater stress on that shoulder joint. So you have less range of motion, less movement. And also that roundedness puts greater stress on that rotator cuff that is in the shoulder. So what we want to do is not be a slouch monster. Have good posture, nice and upright when it comes to head, shoulders, hips, and legs. What that does, it gives you greater range, so it opens things up more in the shoulder. It puts less stress on that rotator cuff, and it gives you better range of motion. So really, if you feel that trigger of like achy shoulder um, or shoulder pain, look to see if you're being a slouch monster. Now, before I get to the second one, let me know where you're watching this Facebook Live from. It's awesome to see that this little video uh, reaches so many people around the world. Uh, we, we get uh, people from like Australia, the US, England, South Africa watching the Facebook Live. So let me know where you're watching this from. Now, moving on to the second one, this is ignoring your mid-back. So it's a build on the slouch monster. So when it, what happens is if you're a slouch monster, you have you, you end up getting more stiffness and poor movement in that mid-back area. And what we want to do is maintain and improve that movement in the mid-back area. So we want to get out of that slouch monster position, but also we want to work on uh, the mid-back movement, uh, improving it and maintaining it. And you can do that with a back arch, or arms overhead and arching back. So we're getting movement in the low back, but we're also getting good movement in that mid-back area. And if we have good movement in that mid-back area, we put less stress on that shoulder joint. So if we, if we don't have as much movement in that mid-back, we rely on the shoulder to do more of that movement. It leads to more stress on the tissues in the shoulder, leads to irritation, pain, and injury. Okay, now as I go through these mistakes, please make sure to let me know if you have any questions. You can leave them down below. Myself or one of my team members will answer your question um, very quickly. Okay, moving on to the third one, just doing legs. This is an exercise or workout comment and for a lot of people doing legs is a lot easier, like lunging movements, squatting movements, single leg movements. Uh, deadlift movements, those tend to be natural and easier to do compared to upper body work. So, so we want to maintain, so we want to do some pushing movements and pulling movements when it comes to the upper body for shoulder health. So an example would be going through like a push-up movement. So we can modify it by going from the knees, keeping the body a nice straight line and going through that pushing movement. So we're working through the front of the shoulder. You're also working the muscles around the shoulder blade. Now, if this is too difficult, an option is to go against the wall and going through that push-up movement against the wall. And this will help with, you know, working against that slouch monster. It'll work on activating the muscles around the shoulder blade. It'll, it'll work on the pressing movements in the front of the shoulder. Also, we wanna make sure that we add rowing movements or pulling movements in our workouts. 
And this is an example like a bent over row. So going from standing, bending through the hips, nice straight line, head, shoulders, hips, uh, legs are soft, and going from arms straight, pulling the elbows back, elbows just passing the body, and then back to straight. So you're strong in the shoulder blades, great posture, and going through that pulling movement, and that'll help with shoulder health. And you can see with these two exercises, Emma has, is, is in great alignment and is not in that slouched posture position. Because if you're in that slouched posture position while going through the exercises, you're gonna put more stress on the shoulder and also you're reinforcing that poor movement, that poor posture. Well, you're moving on to the fourth one, um, getting your hands up. And with this one, what we wanna talk about is a lot of times when we do day-to-day -day stuff, everything is below shoulder height. We want to get moving where we're reaching overhead, we're bringing the arms overhead, we're reaching above, because we want to keep that movement and maintain that movement. Also, when you bring those arms overhead, we're working the muscles around the shoulder blade, which is good. And it's important as you age to maintain the range of motion through your joints. A lot of times that's an issue that happens, People don't use that range of motion, so they end up losing that range of motion. So make sure to get your hands up throughout the day and have um, you know, movements overhead, reaching overhead, bring the arms overhead. Okay, lastly, work the blades. So working the shoulder blades. So we wanna do some uh, exercises where you're doing like shoulder rolls like Emma's doing. We wanna get moving those shoulder blades. Because what happens is those shoulder blades slide along the, the, the rib cage or that thoracic spine. And if we don't use those shoulder blades, we end up having poor sloppy movement. So we want to make sure that we have good movement with the shoulder blades, but then also activating those muscles around the shoulder blade. Because when we move the arms, you know, past like uh, 25 degrees, those shoulder blades kick in and they move in order to keep that rotator cuff in ideal alignment so it's in the best position possible to work and not be overstressed. Perfect. Thanks, Emma. So there you go. There's five mistakes that people commonly make on a daily basis that affects and leads to shoulder pain. So make sure that you uh, avoid those and address them. So if you have any aches and pains in the shoulder, look to see if you're making any of these five mistakes. Well, that's it for this Facebook Live, but remember, if you have any questions for me, leave them down below. If you have any other topic ideas that you want me to cover, please leave them down below. And if you've gotten this far with the Facebook Live, please let me know where you're watching this from. Uh, it's, it's awesome to see uh, the people from around the world that are getting benefit from this Facebook Live. So, I mean, I think that's it. This is Rick Casales from HealingThroughMovement.com. Uh, we will see you on the Healing Through Movement Facebook fan page, and we'll see you in the next Facebook Live video. So take care, and bye-bye.